It'll be a fight to the death in the arena. What a hit. I'm pleased to serve you. Stop being so annoying, you runt. I'm pleased to serve you. Boy, stop being so annoying, you runt. Looking to hire a swordsman. I wonder what he's doing. Oh, he looks strong. Saber's the one over there. Thanks. I'm pleased to serve you.
No Don't wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. How may I? Looking fine. I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Sounds like a sword. Hope I see you again soon. How are you doing? Can I call you? Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Ah, Balverine Slayer. Ah, my father used to read Scarlet Robe's adventures to me every night. <laughs> It lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Balverines are the fiercest creatures in Albion, but there was once a brave young girl for whom they held no fear. One day, a beast attacked Knothole Glade, where she lived. The villagers all ran away until she alone stood to face it. The creature was twice her size, and she fought its teeth and claws armed only with a stake. By the time the warriors arrived, the beast lay dead at the girl's feet, and her dress was soaked with its blood. From that day forth, she was known to all as Scarlet Robe. As she grew older, she became a great hero driving the evil Balverines from much of Albion and competing in the Witchwood Arena. Yay! See? Girls can be heroes too. Yeah, good. Any books for I us today, hero? Famous. History cool, is an important part of our curriculum here, so the Old Kingdom would be valuable. Autograph? Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Can any of you tell me who built the ancient pillars at Lookout Point? Yes? The people in the Old Kingdom, sir. That's right. They once ruled all of Albion, and the ruins of their cities can still be found wherever you go. The kingdom was founded by a great lord named Archon, who united Albion using the power of the Sword of Eons. But over time, the sword began to corrupt him, and the kingdom fell into darkness. Strange monuments were built to focus the magical power of the kingdom, and terrifying armored figures were summoned to guard them. But at the very height of its power, the old kingdom collapsed, and Archon and his sword disappeared. What happened to them, nobody knows. You have done our school There's such a great service. About him. I don't know if we can ever adequately repay you. I do have a little something and, well, I know it's not much, but the children think you'll love it. We used it in our production of The Mage's Apprentice. <laughs> but it was a little large for our particular actors. How are you? Huh? Ah, 
Hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Hope all's well, sir. Ah, Can call the final that? volume of the great creatures of Albion. <laughs> Should give the little ones a good scare. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? Saber. It's never Saber. too late to learn. Uh, thanks to this kind hero, today's lesson is from Volume 3 of The Creatures of Albion. If trolls ruled the land and dragons the skies, then the mighty kraken are masters of the sea. A few men have ever seen a kraken, and fewer still have lived to tell the tale. Since before the times of the Old Kingdom, these terrifying creatures have lurked in the seas that surround Albion. Their tentacles can grow to be over a hundred feet long and are strong enough to crush a ship like kindling. A brave sailor once drove away a kraken by hacking off one of those gargantuan tentacles. But to kill one of the beasts, oh, that would truly be a heroic task. Do you reckon you'll give me a sword strong? Ooh, do you have a donation there, hero? What's this? The pale Balverine? I hope it doesn't give them nightmares. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. There was once a lord who thought himself good with an arrow, until people saw that his lies ran right through to his marrow. Many months in the cells of Bargate he spent, plotting his redemption. And once he was free, he hunted all evil without exception. One day he <laughs> met his match, a foul and mighty Balverine. He did not die from its bite, but his curse was obscene. He became one of those creatures, and pale as snow was his fur. To kill him came then a red-caped woman, a true connoisseur. A silver arrow pierced his blackened heart and sent him to his grave. And so he died in infamy without the acceptance he craved. Today, hero? A little macabre, perhaps, but uh, the tale of Maxley could teach some of our pupils a valuable lesson. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. There once lived a hob, and Maxley was his name. He was that rarest of hobs, one with a brain. Making his bed in a stream wasn't for him. He'd rather live in a village, there among men. One day he decided to travel to town. He slew a great noble and put on his gown. In Bowerstone by all was he complimented, and though short of stature, he stood proud and erected. Hmm. <coughs> but Maxley forgot what he was and grunted hello. And when the men heard his voice, all they did know. They called out for guards who lopped off his head. It stuck on a spike, dumb and ugly and dead. So when you're about to open your mouth, remember Maxley the Hob, for it's better to be thought an idiot than to be killed by a mob.
of assistance. Of course you are. Ha! I think I ha. You. Oh, you'll take me to Orchard Farm? Excellent! Use your follow expression to start our journey. When we get to a new region, I'll let you know if we're going the right way. If you want me to stop, just use your wait expression. Oh, and before I forget, here's that advance on your fee. You can have the rest when we arrive safely, all right? But try not to go too fast, because I might not be able to keep up with you. Follow. Right, let's get going. I recognise this place. I'm pretty sure we're going in the right direction. Ah, there you are. About time you showed up. I was going to start without you. I was just telling your friend here, the whole orchard's overrun with hobs. I could get rid of them myself, but it might be more fun like this. Whoever kills the most hobs gets the trophy, right? I don't care how you do it, just stick them before they drink all my scrumpy. The little sods cracked open my crate down by the river at the far end of the path. Guess that's where we should go. Race you there. Oh! <laughs> 
You really taught the hubs a lesson. They'll think twice before they try stealing from me again. Not bad. Don't think it'll be easy next time, though. I suppose the trophy is yours, then. For now. I've had enough of this. Maybe the guild has something more interesting for me. We'd better make a move now and check on the damage. <laughs> 